Connection to country. Online. I am. So that's what land is to me. But it is a very difficult thing to to explain. But it's an incredible gift. It's a gift that oh, I'm going to say it again. It's a gift that that our ancestors gave to us without even knowing. The words songline and dreamtime have a vast array of meanings and no single definition. They are used to describe specific spiritual beliefs, morals and stories that belong to Aboriginal groups and are often transformed into paintings. A lot of the art that's created is not created for the art itself, it's created for the story. Long, long time ago in the dream time. Ioana, a young girl, lived amongst her mob. As she approached the age of initiation, she was eager to learn about her heritage and her nation's way of life at every chance she got. Her grandmother shared with her the importance of respecting the land and its traditions. She taught Ioana the traditional ways of fishing, gathering and participating in the sacred ceremonies. She taught her about the three main laws of their nation. Protect the Bobab, protect the Beak and protect the Bani. The spirits of our ancestors dwell in the sacred waters. If you ever dip your feet into the pond, you will transform into the guardian of the land, a crimson rosella. Juana laughed of the elders' words. She believed in science and reasons, not in folklore and superstition. One day, Juana carelessly walked near the watering hole, defying her grandmother's words. As she came in contact, with the sacred water, her arms became wings. She turned into the very crimson Rosella she had once dismissed as a myth. Ioana took to the skies, soaring above the vast Australian landscapes. She admired the rocky coves and grassy hills from an entirely different perspective. From the sky, she saw the water hole and the meeting places where she had grown up. However, as she saw the beauty of country, she also began to see the scars of urbanization that had torn through the country from Keynes to Melbourne. Music is the mitigen. These beats got us out of control. Things around like you never get old. Breaking and popping on my boys five like got us feeling like we out of this world. They want to build certain things on certain sites and they keep pushing to want to build but they're not seeing the significance it is for First Nations people. You know how when all the animals go to the watering hole, they all have to follow the law that no one's allowed to eat or hunt each other there? That's a law. That's not a LAW, that's a law for nature itself. And that's what we follow as traditional owners, is to make sure that we don't go where we're not meant to go, we don't touch what we're not meant to touch. Technology has definitely like boosted our culture and like secured it more for our family to access. So my job kind of is I look after all our family history, um, cultural sites, data, um, artifacts, language, like you name it. And then it also has levels of personas where who can access those um, certain pieces of data, whether it's women's business or men's business. And there's also things where only us younger generation can see or only us older generations can see. But by having that database there in place, it kind of just sets, sets, sets our culture in stone for the next generations to come up and learn through the right people and the right voice. To her relief, she began to see the resilience of the Aboriginal people who are working tirelessly to regain their culture. 
like having that knowledge, knowing that cultural knowledge is is just as important as Westernized knowledge. Like there's power, in, there's so much power within that. Yuana found herself deeply moved by their efforts, inspired to help in any way she could. It was only in 2008 that the government actually publicly acknowledged for the first time that um, uh, said sorry to the Aboriginal people for taking, taking the children away. We reflect on their past mistreatment. We reflect in particular on the mistreatment of those who were stolen generations. This blemished chapter in our national history. Juana made her way back to country, to the sacred watering hole. Once more, feathers receded and her human form was restored. Juana had found her purpose to protect the traditions, the land, and her people. Each star is a story, a memory, a connection to our land our people. When you look up at the night sky, you are not just seeing stars, you're looking at the history, the wisdom of our ancestors. They're always there, watching over us. <laughs> Yeah, life is just so much fun. There's so many incredible people to meet and, and beautiful things to do and, and stories to share. It's just, I, I wake up every morning and go, I wonder what's next. Yeah.